Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. I want to start by saying if y'all getting any wind noise, I do apologize. It's uh, quite windy today. Uh, but I'm trying to shield the camera with my hand. Um, but I have a little bit of an issue, <laughs> uh, as always. But uh, I noticed the other day on my grandpa's way home from work, he's a little late. Uh, um, about an hour later than normal which eh, whatever they're always busy so i didn't think nothing about it well <laughs> he come home and i noticed he went straight to the shop right there and uh what in the world come down here and he said at uh, work truck wouldn't start battery was completely dead uh didn't leave the lights on didn't leave anything on just battery was dead uh wouldn't start the truck so he had to take a company truck uh, from the warehouse up there and <laughs> jump it so, well, you know, whatever. Um, maybe the cable ends are dirty. So, clean the cable ends, all that, and uh, charge the battery up for uh, a whole day from Friday afternoon to yesterday afternoon. Nothing. But on the truck, uh, charge the battery on the truck. And uh, the truck started, and we took everything off shut the truck off what started like a minute later completely dead um and if y'all remember we put that battery on that truck about a year ago so there shouldn't be anything wrong with that battery at all um actually let me look real quick and i'll make sure of uh, when we put that on there okay so after checking kind of clean the lens here if y'all can tell um <laughs> but after checking we put that battery on there june 2020 this is october what's the, day, the 10th of uh, 21 so i don't know why that battery would be dead i mean like dead dead it's a motorcraft battery just over a year old year and a half something like that so it shouldn't be dead but it is uh we took the battery off the truck uh yesterday around this time put it on a charger because we was working on the pantry for the house so we took the battery off the truck put it in the shop and put it on a slow charge and it's been charging for just almost 24 hours now uh, went in there put our battery tester on it and it's the battery is junk so <laughs> he needs to go to work tomorrow I need the 6.0 because I have to go do some stuff tomorrow <laughs> So we're trying to figure out what to do about battery because the Ford dealers are all closed today because today is Sunday. So I think, well, 300's got a new battery. we will put that one on it. Well, that battery's too big. So I'm like, well, we'll take the white truck battery because we know the white truck battery off of, uh, well, the, actually we can put a battery off that truck on the white truck and it worked before. So we know that if we put that battery on that truck, it'll work. <laughs> so we go over here to try to start the white truck. And mind you, I mean, I'm still in flip-flops, shorts, short sleeve shirts. I mean, it's like in mid eighties today. And well, all the white truck is dead too. <laughs> so uh, what my grandpa's working on right now is we're gonna put the white truck battery on the blue truck see if we can jump it and then go drive that truck around because we need to go do some stuff but don't really want to drive the 6 uh because it's a lot of interstate driving it gets real windy in that thing it'd be nice to have the truck with air conditioning that we don't have to ride with the windows down um so we're gonna put the white truck battery on that one kind of give it a quick little charge try to jump it with the um battery charger get it to run and uh charge the white truck battery i think the white truck battery is just dead from sitting um had it set more than a couple weeks but i don't know i don't it's just weird um <laughs> the funny thing about it is we've been talking about getting rid of the blue truck so i guess it uh i guess it's mad at us or something i don't know but i'm gonna run down here uh, let's see if we can get this thing jump started and uh, 
I guess we'll go from there. All right, so I'm in charge of this egg. Put it on jump. Try it. I don't know if it's gonna work. No. So and you can see this battery, 11 or 20. The other one's two or 20. I bought this one in December. Bought that one in June, and I guess both have died on us. Alrighty guys, so I've been sitting here in the 300. Uh, I've been letting this thing charge up some, and well, it, it finally started. So, um, real slow, but I think what we're gonna do is um, kind of ride around a little bit. We're gonna carry a set of jumper cables with us uh, just in case. But I think we're gonna ride around, see if it charges up. Uh, we'll probably carry the scanner with us. That way we can monitor the battery voltage. Uh, with the truck running so anyway uh, i'll probably carry y'all with us but this is kind of weird uh, i don't understand what's the deal with batteries around here um because i mean this truck is drove just about every single day um and it's not like the white truck where you know we kind of drive around town and come back and park it i mean that truck is probably 50 miles easily every single day I don't understand, I don't understand what's the deal about batteries. Um, like I said, tomorrow I think, uh, depending on what time we can make it down there, I think we're gonna try to take the battery from it and uh, get it warranty out. Let me close this for y'all. Well, hopefully we don't get no wind noise. Uh, but I think we're gonna try to take that battery tomorrow and uh, um, try to get it warranted out at the Ford dealership. Um, reason why we're not doing that today like i mentioned is because it is sunday uh four dealers are closed uh and i know our local dealers close uh they close at i think noon or 10 a.m on saturdays so anyway uh, like i said i think we're gonna go um let's try it out and see what happens i guess uh the jumper cables i think they're in the white truck uh, so we'll grab those. We'll take them with us uh, just in case and uh, the scanner that way we can monitor the voltage while driving um, Or I can monitor the voltage while he's driving. We'll go. Uh, we'll go with that um, but Anyway, uh, I guess uh, I'll keep y'all updated. It's just it's just kind of weird um, You know, what I mean this car just drove less than the white truck and the battery's not dead the battery's not dead on this thing um this car gets started less often than the white truck and the battery's not dead and then i mean like i said this truck here gets drove every single day at least 50 miles uh, because he works about 30 minutes from here a little over 30 minutes or so um 30 minutes there 30 minutes back so i don't know like i said kind of weird but uh i guess we're gonna go and see what it does Alrighty, guys so as y'all can see it is a bit later uh, we took this thing on about a 30 minute drive something like that and uh if you're wondering what's up with that we're uh my grandpa actually went to get a tape measure. We're gonna measure this up. We're working on getting everything set up to uh, start working on this garage. But with the blue truck here, we went about a 30 minute drive or so, maybe a little longer, and uh, got back. Truck did fine the whole time I got back. Uh, parked it, went in at eight, come back uh, probably an hour or so after we got back, and uh, it started right up. So, fired right up. No issues, so I think uh, I think we're all right. It's just it's just kind of weird. Um, I mean, again, he drives this thing, like I said, every day. Um, kind of started getting weak, and then Friday it just kind of crapped out. So I don't know. Uh, we got the battery off the white truck, like I had mentioned. Um, so I think tomorrow. We're going to try to go swap out the Motorcraft battery at the Ford dealership, depending on uh, what time we can make it down there and all that stuff. So, anyway, 
I guess I uh, figured I'd give y'all a bit of an update on that. <laughs> it's just it's just kind of weird uh, how things work. But anyway, and it's even weirder that the 300 down there, of all things, it doesn't never get started, never gets drove. Most of it goes is up to the stop sign at the end of the road and back down. So <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, but I guess part of it is what it is. Um, like I said, hopefully they don't try to argue with us about a uh, warranty on the battery. But either way, um, I guess it kind of is what it is. So anyway, uh, I was also going to mention to y'all, uh, like I said, we are working on getting links and stuff for this. Uh, working on a lot of different stuff really because uh, we want to get this done here pretty soon uh, we've been talking about uh, some hopefully future upcoming stuff for this channel as far as builds and uh, bringing back wrecked rebuilds and all that stuff so y'all stay tuned but we're gonna measure this up real quick before it gets too dark on us and uh, I'll end up the video here in a minute all right guys so we just got a truss count on this but i think that is going to be a wrap for today's video so if you guys enjoyed today's video or possibly found it helpful i don't really know how you would have but please drop a like and comment down below hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys and i hope everybody has a great day